Hey Android fans, this is Eric from HollywoodPhoto.com. I'm not going to be doing an app review uh, this time. I'm going to be explaining uh, and clarifying an issue uh, that's floating around out there. A lot of people are confused about the Nexus 4 and the Nexus 10 and their NFC uh, compatibility, uh, especially with NFC tags. And so I want to clarify that for people who are still trying to get answers because there's a lot of misinformation out there and confusing information out there in the forums. So I'm going to let it out all very clearly and answer your questions. Um, before I get to that, I just want to let you know that this review is being sponsored by Andy Tags, uh, which of course is a store that sells NFC tags. And they sell um, the NFC tags, both types that I'm going to be talking about today. So, getting right to it, um, I'll give you background information at the end, because some people probably don't care about the why, um, but let me just start up front with the facts. Um, the uh, Nexus 4 and the Nexus 10 um, are not fully compatible, technically not compatible, with the MyFair Classic tags. Um, now, in Andy tags, uh, there are these MyFair Classic tags. These are the most uh, popular tags. Um, the reason being that they have 1K, 1 kilobyte of memory, about 700 bytes of usable memory, um, which is pretty high for an NFC tag, uh, and yet they're still fairly inexpensive. Uh, so they're very popular. And up until this point, they've been compatible with uh, pretty much every Android phone equipped with NFC. They weren't compatible with some uh, other phones, but they were with every Android phone. Uh, the Samsung Tech Tiles are uh, my fair classic tags. So the Nexus 4 and the Nexus 10, however, are not compatible uh, with the my fair classic tags. What does that mean, not compatible? It means that they cannot uh, write uh, to those tags, nor they, can they read something that uh, has been written to the tag. Now, uh, what they can do, and the only thing they can do, is they can detect the tag's UID number. Um, every NFC tag chip uh, has a UID number. It's kind of like a UPC code um, or a, uh, uh, like, a, like a barcode. And so everyone has one and they're unique. So it can detect that code. Um, what that means is, and this is where some of the confusion has come around, there are NFC apps on the market um, like uh, Retag, uh, Retag Pro, uh, NFC task, task Launcher has recently uh, added this ability. Um, I think another uh, NFC app called Tag Action Tag Action Actions has recently uh, introduced this ability, and they don't write anything to a tag. They can't. Those apps can write something to a tag, but they also have the ability to trigger a task without writing something to a tag, just based on the tag's UID number. So in other words, you tap a tag, it reads the UID number, and you've pre-associated a certain set of actions uh, or tasks with that particular tag's UID number. So even with the Nexus 4 or a Nexus uh, 10, if you have uh, My Fair Classic tags and you want to use them, or you find some that you, you like the way they look and you want to use them, you can use them with those type of apps that uh, don't write, don't need to write anything to a tag, but just use the tag UID to uh, uh, launch, launch a task. Now there is a drawback to that, and this is what I want to clarify. Um, basically, uh, any MyFair Classic tag is going to be seen as a blank tag um, by your uh, Nexus device, and uh, uh, even though it reads the UID number, and even if something's been written to it, it's going to see it as a blank tag. And if you have more than one app on your phone that uh, reacts to a blank tag, then instead of something happening, even if you've associated one of those apps with that UID number, it's going to give you a pop-up box and ask you which app you want to you know, do something with the tag it detected which kind of defeats the point of automation. Just to give you an example here, this is obviously not a Nexus, this is a Samsung Galaxy S3, but I have several apps on this phone which uh, interact with a blank tag. So you'll see when I tap this tag, which is blank, this is what happens. All three of those apps pop up, 
because it wants to know well, what what app do I want to use that tag. Um, now, if I used any of uh, if I used well, two of those apps don't write to tags, but the one that does, if I would have written a code to this tag, it would say to open that app. But you can't do that with a Micro Classic tag on the Nexus 4 because you can't write to it. So that's just the thing to remember. If you want to use it with one of those types of apps that just reads the UID code, it'll work fine. But only if you only have that one app that reacts to a blank tag. If you add additional apps that react to the blank tag, then that's probably not going to work for you anymore because you're going to get that pop-up box. So that's that. Uh, now, what tags are uh, compatible? Well, basically any tag that uh, adheres to the NFC forms uh, protocols uh, and guidelines for NFC chip technology. Um, and I'll explain more about that later, but the most popular tag is the uh, NTAG203. Um, and uh, Andy Tags does sell those as well. Uh, they have a new design specifically for that tag. But NTAG203, that's probably the more, most popular one because it has, of the ones that are affordable, it has the most memory. Now, it still has a fraction of the memory of uh, the MyFair Classic. It has uh, about 140 bytes of usable memory, but for all of your NFC task launching type of uh, uses, that should be plenty. Um, the only thing it won't be enough for is uh, the Samsung Tactile app, because that app, for some reason, Samsung, I don't know what they did with it, but it uses a ton of memory even for a simple task. But again, if you have the Nexus 4 or 7, you're probably not gonna use that app. You're gonna use one of the better ones from the, from the Google Play Store because um, there are a lot of better ones. Uh, and 140 bytes is plenty of memory for that. The only time you might run into an issue is uh, if you have a really long URL you're trying to, to record to an app, it did have to be really long, or like a ton of text, like you're trying to record an entire love note or something that you want your girlfriend or boyfriend or wife or husband to be able to tap it and read that love note. If you say a lot, it's gonna to be too much. You're gonna to have to keep it to a sentence or so on 140 bytes, because it can only handle about 130 characters. So uh, that's really the only limit. But as far as launching tasks, I mean, the NFC uh, apps, they just record a small amount of data to uh, trigger the tasks that you've set up. So uh, the 140 bytes should be fine. And uh, that's the NTAG203. So that's the one that I'd recommend looking at if you're a Nexus 4 or Nexus 10 owner. Um, now for those of you who are interested just to know why this is an issue, um, well first real quick before I get to that, because I know someone's going to ask, well, what about the other Nexus devices? Even though I've said very clearly this is Nexus 4 or Nexus 10, people always say, yeah, but what about the other ones? The other ones are not affected by this. Um, and I'll explain why right now. Uh, the reason is uh, NXP is one of the leading uh, developers and manufacturers of NFC technology. And a lot of the chips that are out there were developed by them. Uh, and every Android phone up to this point has had NXP, uh, has had their NFC technology in the phone. Um, now when NFC first started being developed a while back, uh, several companies got together and formed the NFC forum and this was a, a forum to set sort of guidelines and protocols and parameters so that all the technology would be compatible um, like for example uh, when blu-ray was first being developed there were like three different companies um, and Sony was one of the big ones but there were other companies they got together and they developed uh, standards for blu-ray because if no one developed standards then you could have 10 blu-ray players from 10 different manufacturers that you know didn't play the same disc or discs from different companies that wouldn't play on other manufacturers players so they have you know uh, standards so the NFC forum sets standards for NFC technology well NXP uh, being one of the the leading manufacturers and being uh, the technology that was used in pretty much every Android phone they decided to develop uh, one chip the MyFair Classic chip uh, outside of the NFC standards, outside of the NFC forums protocols. And uh, so, so their MyFair Classic chip is compatible with any phone that has their technology in it. 
And since every Android phone up to this point had an XP's technology in it, it was no problem. And a lot of them that are coming out still do. However, uh, for the Nexus 4 and the Nexus 10 only, uh, Google decided to go with a different company called uh, Broadcom. So the Nexus 4 and Nexus 10 have Broadcom's NFC technology in them. And since the MyFair Classic chip doesn't adhere to NFC standards, it isn't compatible with the Nexus 4 and the Nexus 10. So if you were wondering why it's not compatible, that's the why. Um, now as far as other Nexus devices go, not a problem because uh, the original Nexus phone, the uh, Nexus 7 tablet, uh, those still have the NXP technology inside of them and will still work with the MyFair Classic tag um, as will pretty much all other Android phones on the market right now. Going forward, that may change. Other people may decide to use other, uh, use some of the other companies' NFC technology as well. But uh, as far as the Nexus 4 and the Nexus 10 go, the key to remember in summary is that the uh, uh, MyFair Classic tags are not compatible, so they cannot read information that's been written to them. They cannot write any information to them. The only one thing they can do is detect the tag's UID code, uh, which can be used with some apps to trigger task based on the code. Um, however, if you want to be able to write to a tag, which does give you a lot more flexibility, because um, you can, when you write to a tag, you can tell the tag, you know, to open in a specific app, um, then uh, I would suggest getting the end tag 203s. So hopefully that helps some people out. Um, like I said, there's a lot of sort of misinformation and confusing information on the internet. Um, if I wasn't clear about anything because I might have forgotten to say something or uh, something might just not make sense to you, then post your question below and I'll do my best to answer it. Um, otherwise, if you have a Nexus 4 or 10 or any other phone equipped with NFC and you're looking for some cool NFC tags, then uh, head over to Andy Tags. They have these tags with the cool uh, Andy uh, mascot logo and the little NFC um, some wireless symbol. and. Uh, uh, different colors and they have new NTAG 203s that are fully compatible with the Nexus 4 and Nexus 10. Anyway, until uh, next time, this is Eric reminding you that your Android phone is only going to be as good as you make it.